The restaurant we have chosen is Jojo. This Indian restaurant is in the heart of Saikung and is visited by people from all nationalities. The cozy and comfortable atmosphere makes it an enjoyable experience for anyone that visits the restaurant. Jojo's provides various options like food, drinks and shisha. Its wonderful customer service coupled with its delicious offerings makes it one of Saikung's best restaurants. Due to its popularity, the restaurant has added several chains throughout the city. Thus, we were curious to know the reason behind Jojo's success in such a competitive environment, which is why we have chosen it for our project. In order to analyze Jojo's decision-making environment, it is important to understand the industry as a whole. The global restaurant industry is expected to be worth $3.5 trillion. Anchored in the service sector, the latter is thus in an ever-changing environment, underlining the importance of making the right decisions with the ultimate goal of satisfying the maximum number of customers. We have thus identified four major categories of decisions that restaurateurs face. The first decision that aspiring restaurateurs need to make concerns the kind of restaurant and location they want to invest in, the optimal choice being the one that attracts their consumer market. They are thus confronted to many choices ranging from cafes to fast food restaurants, passing by diners. This first decision will generally have a big impact on future ones. Restaurants owners have then to decide on staff and management. They need to make decisions concerning the right items to display on a menu, as well as the right personnel, not only to cook, but as well as to serve the dishes, all while respecting the ambience of the restaurant. Moreover, they will need to pick how many cooks and servers they will need, as well as on what basis and what type of contract they wish to employ them. Furthermore, restaurant owners have to make decisions concerning the supply chain, from managing food quality and delivery to outsourcing or in-housing cleaning services. Finally, they need to continuously invest in building the brand image of their restaurant and make decisions regarding how and when to expand it. We can thus conclude that restaurateurs need to combine decision-making systems 1 and 2 in order to balance consumer employee satisfaction with costs and revenues. In order to best understand the decisions undertaken, we met with the manager of Jojo's, Raj. What we focused on was how the manager takes on day-to-day decision-making regarding their products and service profiling. From speaking to the restaurant manager, we were able to deduce that in managing operation, he is heavily reliant on System 1 for making the day-to-day decisions. He repeatedly mentioned past experience and the simple fact that being in the business for years has led him to trust his instincts and follow a gut feeling. Thus, we can assume that restaurants do not have much of a fixed and calculated approach to serving customers, but rather have an approximate figure to follow based on previous demand. Having said this, some simple calculations and more system 2 decisions on serving quantities, reorder points are determined. By looking at historical data at the most and thus confirming the system 1 heuristic or quick thinking approach. For example, that says weekends will be busy. Besides dealing with a large search of customers, staff rotation is one of the issues. On the weekdays, the demand is manageable so Jojo needs only 3 staff and 1 delivery guy. However, it doesn't apply for the weekend where the demand is the highest during this period. Everyone is busy and they need three extra staff, which one of them will be helping the delivery service. In this regard, System 2 decision making is involved since the managers will observe whether a certain number of staff are enough during the weekend or not, and based on this observation, they will then decide how many staff are needed on which period. Next stop is the quality versus cost issue. At the end of the month, supplier usually offers some special offers such as buy one get one free on some products. Such offer is obviously very attractive since managers aim to reduce costs as much as possible. On the other hand, there are freshness and quality issues involved in this decision. They can only accept such offer for some products only. For example, they can store too many seafood and other perishable stuff. The main goal is to lower the cost while at the same time maintaining the quality of their product and service. We concluded from the interview that initially they had to focus heavily on breaking even, given the high rent prices in Hong Kong. Finding ways to market, promote, and retain customers were key. Now that they are well established, they focus on quality and pride themselves on making the decision to order the freshest ingredients, even if it costs more. The manager at JoJo's clearly emphasized the importance of having fresh ingredients. Thus, quality control is of utmost importance to the company, despite having higher costs through this. In order to combat the costs and ensure optimum profitability, we believe there needs to be a systematic method of inventory controlling 
alongside quality control in order to ensure fresh ingredients at the best price. Although a practical alternative could be to find more proximate suppliers, the location of the restaurant as well as the uniqueness of the ingredients makes this unfeasible. Therefore, our second recommendation is on implementing an inventory control system which will also use data that is fed in from the POS records. Specifically, we recommend using spreadsheet to track and input of all food and beverage inventory items in a properly categorized manner with unit prices and quantities available. Examples of this can be either one like this, categorized according to the day of the week, or the one here, categorized based on sales. As the POS system operates, the data would be fed in real time into the inventory control. This ensures a perpetual tracking of inventory levels and would also allow the managers to get a clearer picture on when to replenish inventory. As they are dealing with perishable goods, a viable system in which they can estimate reorder quantities for each ingredient would be the best way to design this operating system. As demands vary based on the day of the week, a systematic approach would allow JoJo's to estimate inventory levels and reorder quantities for weekdays and weekends, which is the peak in demand, separately. We believe having a model to carry out this data ensures that reorder times are not based solely on forms of intuition. By being able to see a trend in when ingredients are needed and when items run out, ordering of fresher ingredients can be done in a more economical way, thus improving the overall profitability of JoJo's. Yeah. Due to the business world being competitive, and as we mentioned earlier, the environment JoJo's is located in, Saikung is densely populated with restaurants. Therefore, JoJo seeks an advantage over others. In streamlining their processes and ensuring cost minimization and profit optimization, JoJo's can better serve their consumers and be more sustainable in guaranteeing this profit. The manager stressed that in a restaurant where you must deliver quality and have to choose higher priced alternatives, keeping your other costs low is crucial in making anything more than break even. Automation, or rather, using technology to aid resource allocation and keep a check on inventory levels for appropriate and most optimal reorder quantities and time periods will allow JoJo's to cut their fixed order costs. POS, also known as point of sale software, can be utilized to not only manage and control inventory levels, but also contain customer data, historical transaction data, as well as keep a track of all your costs. This would not only enable CRM integration, but also allow JoJo's to record waiting times, assign tables appropriately, and ultimately keep the customer happy, as is the goal of most in this industry. The software can also use a menu reporting function to keep track of what meals and drinks customers consume most, thus helping inventory management and demand predictions, all real-time and reducing wastage and leaving little room for bad judgments or wrong decisions. In addition, the software would allow for JoJo's to identify popular customer groups and the frequency of their visits, thus enabling menu and marketing initiatives directed at these groups specifically, once again optimizing resource allocation and reducing their costs. An example of this POS software is Toast POS Solutions, but there are several others that will do the job. JoJo's currently employs discounts or free beverages to those waiting in line, and consult simply their cash register and previous month receipts or logbooks, therefore is often unable to predict their delivery and order times precisely, which tends to leave customers unsatisfied or restlessly waiting. Instead of these short-term incentives and stressful quick thinking, JoJo's can employ this software as a long-term solution to manage all their data and truly serve customers to its full capacity, maximizing profits and allowing for a smooth running of their restaurant elevating their rel relative position with regards to competition in the customer's mind.